Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending September the 9th, 2018. So I'm back into the swing of writing after the summer break and I've had quite a busy week. I've got quite a lot done. I've outlined the next two books in my Ravenglass Chronicles series. So these are going to be called The Empress and The Emperor. Now because of doing the outlining of these, I also realised that there was one story arc that I wanted to open And so I ended up going back to the High Priestess to start laying the foundations for that. So I ended up adding another 2,000 words to my draft of the High Priestess. And that is now with the beta readers, so I should be getting some feedback coming in on that over the next few weeks. So as well as working on that series, I've also put together the third book in our Otaku on Writing series. So this is a series of books which are inspired by classic anime. So we did our third collection of stories. And I think this is the best set so far. I think we're just starting to hit our groove now with the podcast. We're a lot more comfortable. and It's got a lot more of a loose feel than it did in the first couple of episodes. And I think this collection is more than twice the word count of the last book as well. I think it was just because the stories were a lot of fun to write. and We had a real blast writing them. And we're now convinced that the concept that we came up with for these stories could make a really good space opera type of series that's definitely one we're going to add to the list we've still got the black death trilogy to redraft and get ready for publication but i'm really pleased with how well those have come together on thursday i went for a regional podcasters meetup so this was really good i got to meet some other podcasters who were doing interesting things and a couple of author friends of mine were there as well because they run their own podcast so paul teague who runs the Self-Publishing Journeys podcast, he arranged the event. And Ewan Lawson, who is a doctor who runs a health and fitness podcast for men called Blokeology. And so I met Ewan last December when he got in touch with me on Facebook. He doesn't live too far away. So we went for a drink and talked author stuff. And I spoke to him again at the 20 Books conference in February. So it's really nice to kind of catch up with authors who don't live too far away and actually have a face-to-face discussion with people because obviously I work from home. Most of the interactions I have with people are either with my wife and son when they get home, or online or on the telephone. And before the meeting, I met up with Paul Teague to have a bit of a chat about author things. And again, this was really good. It was really good just to have a bit of a geeky conversation with someone about this stuff in person, because none of my friends who I interact with on a regular basis have anything to do with publishing. So next week, my plan is to start drafting The Empress, My hope is that I can get the first draft done by Wednesday, then I'll spend the following week rewriting. My aim is to get into a bit of a groove where I'm doing essentially one of these books every three weeks with a plan on publishing them every month. And so my hope is that by the time I get to the end of the release schedule, I'll be already way into writing another project by the time I get to the last book. So I've had no questions this week, but if you want to send me a question... Email me, it's john at johncronshaw.com. That's J-O-N-C-R-O-N-S-H-A-W. You can also follow me on Twitter, it's at J-L Cronshaw. If you haven't done so already, please do check out the free novelette, The Fool, which is the first book in my Ravenglass Chronicles serial. Simply visit tinyurl.com slash ravenglass or find it on Amazon. So until next time, cheerio. Cheerio.